Breaking news today, OpenAI just released Search GPT, and this is a rival search engine to Google. You can see that the prototype has been released right here. It's a direct threat to Google. They've literally just launched a brand new search engine. This might be the biggest and craziest AI SEO news update in 2024. Alphabet shares have just dropped 3%. Today, I'm going to explain exactly what it is, how it works, etc., how to get access to it. And bear in mind, one of Google's biggest competitors, Microsoft, is the biggest investor of OpenAI. They own 49% of OpenAI with a $13.3 billion investment. And so search GPT prototype is a massive threat. So this was just announced less than 12 hours ago. Search GPT prototype, and basically, OpenAI have now says testing Search GPT, a temporary prototype of new AI search features that gives you fast and timely answers with clear and relevant sources. Now, if we look at the preview of this, for example, you can see you can put in a search term here, just like Google, and then it pulls up all the information, but you can see that it actually doesn't really link to many other websites, which could be bad news for publishers because I can't see many people clicking off the search engine when they actually go inside there. But let's see once it opens up for the public. You can sign up for the waitlist at openai.com forward slash index forward slash search GPT hyphen prototype. And it's a little bit like perplexity as you can see right here. So it's AI sourced. And as you can see right here, they're basically combining AI with information from the web to give you fast answers. Now, one of the things that I can see from this is, is it's pulling information in real time, right? So for example, you can see it's pulling in the dates the latest times, etc., And so this isn't like ChatGPT where it's trained on data from say 2023. This is timely relevant data in a very fast way. Now we'll compare the AI experience of search versus Google in a minute. But here's some of the craziest news. This is a tweet by Matt Wallace, who says that Google have lost an estimated $42 billion in market cap in 25 minutes after search GPT was announced. That is absolutely crazy. It wasn't a great day for stocks in general, but if we check out Alphabet stock price who own Google, you can see their stock price has dropped massively, right? So, there, so they were actually previously at a record high earlier in July. And then if we look over the last day, you'll see that the share price has dropped 2.99%, which is massive when you consider the size and the market cap of Google. So you can see how the news has impacted the market straight away pretty much. Now I've actually signed up for the wait list right here. As you can see, you just click on join wait list and then it will show whether you're on the wait list or not. But as they promised, search GPT is a faster, easier way to find what you're looking for. So you can see this is what the search results look like. It's not too dissimilar to Google, honestly, but it's powered by their AI model chat GPT. Now you can actually see it's updated with information in real time. So it's got like 2024 dates right there. And then it's got links in brackets to each of these sites. But honestly, it looks like the CTR probably won't be that high because these are kind of like footnotes that most people are not going to click on. I don't know how they're going to plan that with publishers, but pretty crazy to see because this is trained from data on the web. And here's the announcement. So it was just a few hours ago that OpenAI actually announced it. Bear in mind, it's not just a threat to Google, it's also a threat to Perplexity, which is a very similar tool and a very powerful one as well. So for example, you can go into Perplexity right here and then you can search right here. But the thing is, I would say that OpenAI is a bigger brand with more adoption. They've also given away ChatGPT for free already with their GPTO models. And so they're already trying to get mass market adoption. Now, if they bring in search GPT as well, then this could be wild. The other thing to note here is that Apple have actually partnered with ChatGPT for iPhones. And that's probably a feature that's going to get released, I would say, later this year. And so no one knows for sure how this will be integrated, but let's imagine that Search GPT gets integrated onto every iPhone. The adoption of that is going to be absolutely wild. That could be massive to the market and a huge threat to Google as well. Now, if you look at this tweet by Alex, as you can see right here, Google stock actually immediately plummeted after the open AI announcement about search GPT. You can see how directly after the announcement, the stock price dropped, which indicates 
how investors and the market feel about this update and how it could impact Google. Now, what we can actually do is compare the search experience of Google side by side versus perplexity using exactly the same response, right? So for example, if we type in the same keyword into Google and we compare that versus say perplexity, as you can see right here, and bear in mind, perplexity is very similar to search GPT in the way that it's formatted, the way it's organized and creates responses. When you look at the results from Google, what you can see right here is that there's a sponsored list in there, sponsored list in here, and a sponsored listing right here, right? So everything above the fold is ads. And so if you're a user using Google, it's quite hard to get timely, fast responses. You have to scroll through all the ads. You have to filter out all the BS. Some people are going to get confused and they don't get the answer straight away. And if you think about it from the perspective of the user, they want to get the information as soon as possible in the best organized way as possible, right? They want information quick and they want it organized in the best possible way. If you look at perplexity, what you can see right here is if you type in, for example, best way to rank with SEO, you get the answer straight away. So it tells you exactly how to do it and tells you where that's formatted from. And it creates basically a blog post straight away with actionable ways to generate the content. So for example, find the relevant keywords, create the search intent, then you do the on-page SEO, right? And it basically tells you step-by-step step exactly how to do SEO and how to rank with SEO. And if you ask yourself, okay, which search engine gives you the answers in the best and fastest possible way, I would say perplexity. And so search GPT is going to do something similar, but it has mass adoption and it reaches more users than you can see the potential advantage it has. The other thing I would say is if you, for example, type in the same query into Google, even once you scroll past the sponsored listings and we scroll down to the actual information, there's no sources of publishers. If you look at all the information right here, it's very hard to find the credit to an actual website. You have to scroll all the way down here. So you have to scroll down, 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 and eventually you get to the sources of publishers. If you look at Perplexity, it actually lists the sources right at the top and links out directly to the websites. So I would say Perplexity tends to favor independent publishers more. If you're a content creator, I don't know how ChatGPT is gonna do it, but just something to bear in mind is like, which one's going to get you more traffic as a search engine? Really perplexity versus Google right now. That might change. The other thing I would say here is like, if you look at all the AI models, I know a lot of people using ChatGPT. I know tons of people using Claude. I know a few people using perplexity. I don't know anyone who's actually using Google's AI version, which is Gemini, right? And so I don't know what they're going to release to capture more of the market with the AI model Gemini and how that's gonna integrate with search. But it's interesting to see this tweet by Carsten White. It says, chatbots like Perplexity and now OpenAI search GPT are a mortal threat to Google's search monopoly. Either Google will cannibalize itself with Gemini or they will. And so you can see the overall market sentiment around search GPT and how this could impact the market. Now, as a website owner, I don't think there's any point panicking. I'm gonna give you some actionable tips to deal with this and to make sure that you're ahead of the curve compared to most of your competitors. So I'm going to give you some practical actions for SEOs and website owners related to this out update. And it's very important to say updated. First of all, I would say get access right now. Sign up for the search GPT waitlist. You can get access right here. And when you do get access, I haven't got access yet. I think it's going to come soon. But start experimenting with it as soon as possible so that you can understand the algorithm. Also, I would recommend setting alerts for stuff like search GPT. Twitter is one of the best places to stay updated as well. Most of the breaking news that I've seen on this and some of the best information on this has come from Twitter. Additionally, I would say build more backlinks, right? Because backlinks are basically just mentions, brand mentions from authoritative sources, which means that you're more likely to be featured in the AI search engine. Let me show you an example of that. Now, if we type, for example, something random like best quick SEO index or something like that, right? You can see, for example, my post from Reddit is ranking number one right there. And then it actually recommends the products from that post that I created on Reddit, right? And so if you're creating content and building backlinks around your target keywords, then you can optimize the AI to source your products or your brand directly inside these AI models, because that's where they source their content from. They don't make it up. The AI is basically trained on the data that's already out there. As you can see, it says sources, then it points to my article as number one. And so that's another way to improve the likelihood of you ranking inside these tools. 
The other thing I would say is don't panic, right? It's early days. There's going to be a lot of chaos in this market right now. That doesn't mean you need to worry. Usually this sort of stuff boils down and you realize this. I remember when ChatGPT first came out and everyone said Google was going to be over. And yet it's still dominating the market today. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a free one-to-one -one strategy session and personalize everything that we've talked about today to you and your business, and we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, this free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session will give you a free domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building or answer any questions you have. You'll learn the best link building strategies for your website and how to outrank your competitors using link building some of the strategies that I've mentioned today. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.